America has had first ladies, second ladies for 245 years, but never a first or second gentleman until now. So tell us about Doug Emhoff, the husband of Vice President Kamala Harris. Well, certainly the vice president is a trailblazer, and that makes her husband one as well. So whatever he does at this point and in the last six months will lay the groundwork for any future first or second gentlemen and their spouses. The first second gentleman of the United States. And nothing prepares you for this. So in a lot of ways, almost everything is a surprise and, and there's so many unique things that I've been able to do and been able to see. Doug Emhoff, thrown into a title that never existed before his wife, Vice President Kamala Harris, broke barriers by becoming the first woman to hold national office. Two people who fell in love, got married with two careers and uh, and that's what we were, just focused on, on our relationship, the children, our family and uh, not so much on something like this. Emhoff emphasizes his role as purely supportive, not advisory. Michelle Swerz, a professor of American government at Georgetown University, says it appears he's trying not to overshadow Harris in any way, pointing to how Emhoff has also stopped working as an entertainment lawyer in Hollywood, a job where being aggressive and domineering are par for the course. You don't want to emphasize those elements of your personality, so instead he's taken on teaching a course at Georgetown Law School, uh, which is much different than being in the courtroom. The women who have been second spouses and first ladies have chosen mostly non-controversial issues to champion. Emhoff is doing the same. A review of his official travels by Spectrum News shows he's visited more than 20 states in six months to address items high on President Biden's agenda, such as health care, hunger, and gender equity. The difference, though, Swerve says, is we've seen more of the second gentleman than other second spouses at this point in a new administration. I think definitely because of COVID-19, he is out there more doing a lot of travel and by virtue of being a first, he's getting more media attention than another second spouse might. At an event this month in Washington, Emha visited a high school vaccination site and met with upbeat volunteers who have been spreading the word about vaccines. The biggest cheers came when he mentioned his wife. And I'm also talking about my wife, Vice President Kamala Harris. He is a good one. I love it, and I know you do too. His high profile gives him the ability to draw attention to candidates and causes, unlike most vice presidential spouses. But that visibility could backfire if he's the subject of controversy. There is always room for mistake. If the first lady is seen as a helpmate, generally people like that, and the same for the, the second lady and the second gentleman. When they see them as having political powers that are unelected, then it gets more controversial. As Emhoff blazes his way forward, he sees himself as a role model. Men need to step up and make sure that we are doing everything we can to support those that we love. And to women out there, we need more women in leadership. And we need those who love them, love them and support them so they can do that. As he could very well be laying the groundwork for himself as a future first gentleman, should his wife become president one day. Emhoff tells me his role model is Dr. Jill Biden. She was a pretty active second spouse under the Obama administration. Now, he also says that his focus right now is COVID-19 relief, especially trying to get the unvaccinated vaccinated. Giselle. Times, they are changing, even when they seem they're not. Emwin, thank you so very much.